Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video and the first ever episode of the new series, Dr. Sarah, oh! <laughs> Damage fashion over! Try again. And the first ever video on the new series called Dr. Sarah Tries. In this new series, I will be trying out a load of stuff. We will be trying out Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. Now I know what you're thinking, Sarah Hen, this cookbook's been out for a while, it's a bestseller, why are you only just trying it now? Well, I was both broke and lazy and didn't have a nice kitchen to cook in, but now I do. We're gonna find out whether the queen herself has made a book that is actually worthy of the title of being written by the queen herself. Now I say the queen, I guess the queen of social media, I'm one of those people who I follow who I genuinely consider a friend. She has no idea that I exist, but that's the whole point of social media. She's one of my internet friends who doesn't know that I exist. So I'm a big fan of hers, I'm not gonna lie. However, I'm not gonna allow that to make this review biased. One thing which I can't lie really annoys me about most cookbooks is how unrealistic they are. <laughs> Unless you devote your whole life to being the chef supreme, a lot of cookbooks are too much effort, too hard to follow, unrealistic, expensive, and then just taste alright. Some of them taste great, some of them just taste alright, and you're a bit like, well that was a whole lot of time and money for something that I'm never going to do again. We're going to find out if cravings will actually make me crave this food enough to make it more than once. And yeah, let's get started. So, I haven't actually read through this whole book. I have read the introduction, and true to form, it's freaking hilarious. Oh, I just, I love Chrissy so much. I don't want this to get creepy, so I'm not gonna go into it, but I'm a big fan of her, she's just so funny. But anyway, from the beginning, it is full of pictures of her looking fire, which I honestly appreciate. Thank you for the inspiration. I tend not to look like that when I eat chicken wings, but it's nice to know it's possible, hot damn. And um, so it's just full of hot fire pictures, life goals, inspiration. It makes me want to find my own award-winning husband to take photos with too. The titles of the different kind of foods that this book includes. So it's got breakfast all day, soup master, salads, noodles and carbs, Thai mom, Thai mom, I wanna make Thai food, I'll be looking at that section. Party time, S-H-I-T on toast. <laughs> I really hope that in that section it's just like cheese on toast, beans on toast. Peanut butter and Nutella on toast, because honestly, that's some good, that's some good ish. But I have a feeling it'll be like fancy stuff on toast. Vegetable things, things that intimidate people that shouldn't. Ooh, and supper. So there's lots of sections here to work with. I am going to pick stuff that I want to eat. I am a huge fan of breakfast. I firmly believe that every breakfast place should do breakfast all day. Like, how do you know when I woke up? How do you know what time I am breaking my fast? Why shouldn't I be allowed to have pancakes at 7 p.m.? Why shouldn't I be allowed to have a Phil English at 7 p.m.? Can people please just make it a normal thing that all breakfast lasts all day? Why should I stop breaking my fast at 10.30 a.m.? Why? Anyway, hmm, what should I try? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a bit of a child in that I love a recipe to have a picture to go along with it. I wanna know whether what I've made looks how it should do or whether I have failed in life. I'm gonna pick one with a picture. I wish they all had pictures. Sorry, Chrissy, I love you, but I guess it's just inefficient, like, print-wise. Um, I think we'll start with the Thai mom section. Just look at them. Look at them. Yes, girl, why? Thai pork and rice porridge. Interesting. So this is what we're making today, guys. We're making Jack, Jack Moo pork and rice type porridge. And there's another lovely inspirational photo there to remind me that I am currently single. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you very much. Mum has been making this since before I can remember. It's so simple. Garlicky chunks of peppery ground pork and fresh ginger in a thick rice broth. It's the ultimate comfort food when I'm feeling down and the perfect hangover cure. Violently ill, you'll keep this down. Being stabbed, apply to wound. <laughs> Headache, put in Ziploc and apply to forehead. I really believe there's nothing this soup can't cure. She sold me. The world-renowned chef, Eric Rippert, loves this. My mum used to make it for her as a child, which means that it is a legitimate, you know, food that you can eat practically. And it looks quite simple, so we're gonna go for this one, because I don't want to embarrass myself on the first episode. Okay, so we're gonna get started. First things first, I need to do a food shop, because I have no food left in this house, and I'll grab the ingredients that we need for this recipe today. All right then, it is slightly later in the day. I've done my food shop and I think I have all the ingredients that I need for this recipe, which is not too much stuff to be honest. 
I'm very pleasantly surprised I didn't have to remortgage the house in order to make this recipe. Place the rice in a fine mesh sieve and rinse under cold water. Now that I can do. I did have to get some gnaw cubes because I couldn't find any bouillon cubes. Bouillon, how do you say that word? Bouillon, bouillon. Wow, that's embarrassing. This is so easy already. Let's do it. Absolutely perfect. We have 225 grams of rice. 2.9 litres of water. I've got a litre here, so I'm gonna pour that in. Another litre. Hot dang! Do you want some rice with that water, Chrissy? Do you? She wants me to put in 900 mils more? What if we're in drought, hun? What if there was a drought? Honestly, there, where is the rice? Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna bring that, bring that to boil. I'm not gonna lie, I was panicking a bit there because I was like, why aren't I adding salt into this? And the Nigerian me was gonna cry at the thought of soft rice with no salt. However, we're not, we're not Nigerian today, we are Thai, and I trust you, Chrissy. And I also remembered I am supposed to be adding a little bit of spice um, with these chicken stock cubes, so I'm gonna throw those in. Fabulous, I will set my timer for 45 minutes. While the porridge is cooking, in a medium bowl, combine the pork, garlic, soy sauce, salt, and pepper. Three inch piece of fresh ginger, peeled and cut into very thin julienne. I feel like those are long, thin stripes, but I did not go to chef school, so let me just Google that. Julienne strips of ginger. Peeling ginger is not the easiest thing in the world. Got my coriander there, and I'm just gonna slice the ginger. There's my julienne cut ginger. I don't know if Gordon Ramsay would approve, but Gordon Ramsay can do one. These two and mince them into there, two cloves of garlic. Okay, yes. Yes. Get off. We are adding the one teaspoon of flaked salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, which I honestly feel like I can just eyeball because this is the only freshly ground black pepper we get in up in this non-bougie house. Done. And then we've got the light soy sauce. I'm adding in 60 mils of that, which it turns out was like half the bottle, but okay. 450 grams of the pork. Adding that and just gonna mix it all together. Okay, so the timer is up. It is actually looking like a porridge-like consistency. Chrissy, I am sorry that I doubted you. I apologize. It's looking good. <laughs> then she says to add the pork a pinch at a time, which sounds a little long, to be honest. One pinch at a time. So adding that pork took so long that my camera generally ran out of battery. I add the ginger. I'm just pouring that in. It smells so good. Next, I'm gonna make the fried garlic, which she says that you should use canola oil for, but I totally, didn't buy that, so I'm just gonna use some sunflower oil. So I've got my thinly sliced garlic here, and I'm just gonna fry that. The recipe says 12 cloves. I'm not really a garlicky person, and this is just for garnishing, so I'm just using the three. So I feel like that is enough, if not slightly overdone. I'm just gonna take the garlic off and put it to cool on this little tea towel. Then last but not least, we're gonna stir in the coriander and the spring onions into the pot. Oh, 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 come on, babe, come on. Okay, I can't do this one-handed, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I'm all done. So this is what it looks like, a hearty bowl of Jock Moo. I feel like I've been calling it Jack Moo. It's Jock Moo. Jock Moo, Thai pork and rice porridge, and it does smell really good. Um, and it kind of looks like hers, minus the loving marriage. I would say I've done pretty good. Obviously, the proof is in the tasting, so let's try it. <laughs> Here it is in all its glory, so you've got the porridge, the fried garlic to top, and a bit of coriander because I thought that might look a little bit cuter on Instagram. There is a lot left over. I just realised that the recipe serves eight. There's only one of me, but I've never been one to shy away from a challenge, so I better like it. Mmm, that's delicious. That is truly delicious. That is absolutely delicious. The ginger really adds something, you know. I genuinely get it when she says that it's the ultimate comfort food. This is the ultimate comfort food. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And the pork tastes really good too. 
Okay, so my proper camera just died, so sorry for the lack of quality. I have finished. <laughs> I finished the porridge. That is going to be a new one of my staples. I think it will. It's super easy. I'm not like too expensive. Ginger added a whole nother level of happiness that I hadn't anticipated. I hadn't anticipated it. Now I'm glad that I made a portion for eight. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what you think, whether you're going to try the recipe and get the book. Don't be afraid to tweet this video to Chrissy. It would possibly make my life if she saw this. Yeah, I'm very excited for Hungry For More to be released. I can't wait to try that book too, but I will carry on trying recipes from the original OG book and sharing them with you guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.